So we obviously we have like a lot of development in our own nozzle, but then we also use the patented technology from Valmet for our 2K stuff right now. And uh, yeah, and they're a pretty awesome company. They've done some really decent research and development yeah. to get their uh, their nozzle head to where it is. Now we're somewhat and they're constrained. Still, still developing. Yeah. We're somewhat constrained by it's a uh, it only uses a single type of material, and it's under agreement with Valmet that we only use their material for that nozzle, which we totally That's respect fine. that. Um, but the, uh, the idea of having to ship material from Austria to Canada is kind of been a bit of a tough thing for us to swallow. Mm -hmm. So we do print a really high-end stuff with that nozzle, but then the um, 1K material, we, we're you know, using a lot of laid accrete material um, and a few other companies out there who are developing uh, 1K materials and it's through all of our own nozzles. And I don't know, do we even use the same nozzle twice? Like there's some kind of iteration every couple we're of days. We're always uh, trying new things yeah. with the nozzle and it's amazing, you know, it's just a tube with concrete coming out of it, but it's quite, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of features and um, yeah. you know, things you can change and get a different result, whether it's speed, width, height, uh, shape, and you know, all yeah, that. I mean, it's fluid dynamics inside yeah. a, of, you know, uh, something that's got a lot of surface area for the amount of actual material that's passing through it, so, mm -hmm. like, very uh, <laughs> minor changes in the mix ratio or changes in the length of the, the tube that it's traveling through, like all these things, um, they're immediately visible on the part. Yeah. So I don't know if you actually did some close-ups of the Fibonacci house, but you can see that we've got like completely different print qualities from one day to the next. And, you know, we, different parts. You know, we have to do these um, like hundreds upon hundreds of hours of prints to kind of get all the data that show, you know, why is it that today we're getting like a little bit of a, of a, of a, a pulsing effect in our print and then another day we're getting like hooks coming off and yeah, you know and, uh, so it's it's super complicated what goes on inside 